Hello, I'm Ben Norderman, founder of Swiss Point of Care. Today, I'm going to show you the Mission 3-in-1 cholesterol meter. I'm going to show you what's inside the box, how to set it up, and how to use it. In the box of the meter, you will find the meter, control strips, and batteries. So there's everything for the meter. There's the manual in different languages. There's the warranty card with which you can extend your warranty and get a five euros discount. And with that link, you'll find all kinds of documentation that you might need for the meter. On my side here, you'll find a little box with everything to do five tests. There are five pink blue safety lancets. This is what you do to prick your finger. Then there are five capillary tubes. This is what you use to collect the blood. And there's, of course, five test strips, which are each packed in their individual sachet. And there's the documentation that comes with it. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the meter. To turn on the meter, we need to insert the batteries. Open it here. It's difficult to see, but you need to take this plastic off. It says a plus and a minus here, so this is the plus, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Step one, choose the year. I press confirm for the year. I now get the month. You can see the M for month. It is July. It's actually June. So I'll change it to June. I confirm with pressing the center. I now see D for day, and it's actually the 25th, 25th, and I press confirm. I now get the time, the hours, and confirm, and I can press the minutes, it's actually 11.55, and I can press here to confirm. The date and time are now set. Now we have to configure the meter. And to begin with that, the first thing you have to do is you press the center button for about three seconds until you hear beep. Okay, so press the button. And now it beeps. And you will see it enters into set mode. No set. You then go two steps to the right to get into setup mode. So I just press twice. Now press once to confirm to go into the setup mode. The first thing you get to do is to choose milligram or millimole. Milligram or millimole. In most countries, millimole is used, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to confirm. The next setting is 24 hours or the other setting is 12 hours. So you want afternoon 2 o'clock to be presented as 1400 hours, then you choose this. If you prefer AM or PM, then you choose this. I like a 24 hours clock and I'm going to confirm. The next thing is how you want the date, month and year to be presented on the screen. It's an American device, so it starts with year, month, date. But you can also say day, month, year, which is used more in Europe. So I'm going to confirm for first the day, then the month, then the year. I now see my earlier settings. It's 2023, so I'm going to press confirm. It's June. I confirm. It's D date 25th. I'm going to press confirm. The time, and I'm going to press confirm. The next thing is, as you can see here, no set off. This is actually number set off, which means that the device will collect every measurement up to 99. I will always put this on on because then every measurement gets a number. So I will always put that on on and then confirm. You then get the sound. As you will see here, there's a little speaker. Um, this is sound on or sound off. I prefer to always keep the sound on. You confirm by pressing on. The next thing is CHD. This is for um, cardiovascular health risk measurement. I would standard turn it off if you're interested in, then you will read more in the manual in full detail. But for now, let's keep it off. Sample, 
If you're using this at home, you will use the sample BL, which stands for blood. If it's used in a lab or in a doctor's practice, it might be on blood serum, then it would be SE. But in most cases, it's actually the sample is just regular blood, and you confirm here. Now we are on no set again. You press left once. <laughs> now this is a bit funny because it says ELT, but actually it should say exit, but the display cannot show the X. So exit, and then I press the center one, and now I'm done. And now the meter is ready to use. Now I'm going to show you how to do a test. When you start a test, make sure that you have a bit of space on a free table that is not too much clutter and make sure that you have everything before you start. You need the meter, you need the test strips, you need the safety lancet, the capillary, and I would recommend that you use an alcohol wipe to clean your finger and after the pricking a small plaster is also useful. All right, let's start. In every box there is always a coat chip. This has the calibration information so the device is automatically calibrated. Make sure that with every new box you put in the new coat chip. You put it in the side of the meter. The number on here corresponds with the number on the sachet. So 465, if I turn on the meter, it will say 465. So always make sure that these two numbers actually correspond to each other. Okay. Now I'm going to open the sachet and I'm going to take out the strip. This is something against the moisture. You can put that away. This you can put away. You now have the strip. There's two sides to the strip. Let me put this aside. This is the top side and this is the bottom side. Okay. Make sure you insert it like this and you insert it the right way. So you insert it from here to there. Okay. If you look carefully, then you will see on the right a test strip blinking. And when this little blood droplet starts blinking, the meter is ready for use. I put the meter to the side. I can now start getting ready to prick my finger. I take the alcohol wipe. I open it. I take it out and I'm going to clean my finger. Okay. Make sure that the finger is dry. Maybe blow a little bit until the finger is dry and now it's ready. I have now the safety lancet. This is a one-time use lancet. First thing you're going to do is you're going to actually take off this top. So you're going to turn this around from here. So I'm going to do this now. Turn it around and then it comes off. This can go away. You will now see that this is the part with the opening that goes against my finger and this is actually where I press it. So I'm going to hold it against my finger and I'm going to press it until it says pang. I will now get a droplet of blood, as you can see, and you need to make sure you drive off, wipe off the first blood droplet like this. Okay? You always must take the second droplet. I make a nice droplet, I take the capillary, hold it between finger and thumb and I will collect the blood with the capillary. Okay, you will need a few drops of blood to fill the capillary. If it isn't one in one go, then you can clean the finger and you can gently massage your hand, not too close to the pricking point. You can take the capillary and you can fill it again. You need to go all the way until the black line. So you're probably going to need two or three droplets. But if the droplet starts to spread over your finger, then make sure that you wipe it off first and that you make another blood droplet. Okay. You usually need about three droplets. As you can see, I'm now until the black line. Now I can go onto the meter, do it here, and I will empty it onto the meter. 
and this is the cholesterol value. As you can see, it's 6.13 is my total cholesterol. I can press here on the right, and I can see my HDL, 1.68. I can see my triglycerides, 1.05. I can see my cholesterol ratio, which is the ratio between the good cholesterol and the total cholesterol. And I can see my LDL. So I've got all these five measurements. I can also go back to each of them and it's stored under B01. So to summarize, get ready with a clean empty space and make sure you have everything. When you use an alcohol wipe to clean your finger, watch out that the finger is dry before you start. When you insert the strip, make sure that you have the blinking blood droplet before you then start pricking your finger. When you use a safety lancet, always put it on the side of your finger. The ends are very sensitive, so always do it on the side. Remember, always wipe off the first droplet of blood with the tissue. I recommend when you use the capillary that you hold it in the middle, roughly around here. And then you gently touch the droplet. When the capillary is filled till the black line, you are ready to empty it on top of the meter. When you do, you press this balloon above the test strip. Make sure you do that in one firm go until it's completely empty. Now remember, hold it pressed, move your hand away before you let go. Otherwise, blood might go back into the capillary. Now I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions. Error message E5. E5 means too little blood for the meter to perform a test. Now you need about 35 microliters and you probably have a safety margin of one or two. There are three areas where in the process you might end up with having too little blood. The first one is make sure to always wipe off the first drop of blood of your finger because there might be some skin in there, so you always need to start with the second blood droplet. The second is when you collect the blood and the blood starts flowing over the finger, make sure you wipe it off and you start with a new round droplet. Don't scrape and don't start sort of collecting because then air bubbles could enter into the capillary and you will not see them. Third, when you empty the capillary and you let go too soon, blood can go back into the capillary. So make sure you keep it pressed, move it away from the meter and then let go. Error message E6. If the meter shows E6, it means that the test strips are out of date, that they have expired. You can check on each pack, there's always a white sticker. This shows you the expiry date. If the strips are still fresh, then it's possible that you might have done a wrong setting on the meter and you have to go into the setup menu. Dashes on the LDL and cholesterol ratio. This means you do not get any values. How can this happen? Remember, the meter co is called mission three in one, which means it measures three things. It measures total cholesterol, HDL and triglycerides. Then it calculates the other two. It calculates the ratio and it calculates the LDL cholesterol. If in the first three measurements, one or more of the values are outside a certain range, then the meter will not display the LDL and it will not display the ratio. You can, however, calculate it with this formula. What's in this small bottle? Actually, in this small bottle, you will find two, what looks like test strips. They are light gray. And if you look carefully, you will actually see CTRL as a control. The only thing this does is this will actually test if these lights are blinking. It's a mandatory thing for medical devices. You actually don't need it. You cannot test with it. You cannot put blood on it, so I would recommend that you just discard it. 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give us a like below on the video. The cholesterol meter is one of the products in our range that helps to support your metabolic health. We are here for you at Swiss Point of Care. Thank you for watching.